In this video, I'm going to walk you through the navigation of Power Page Studio. Now, as you see in the screen on the left hand side, you see the section. So these are the various sections which we can use to configure the navigation. Uh, I'll go to the option one by one. So first thing is we can create a new page. So if I click on page and if I just say my phone and I can start from a layout, uh, I'll go for the blank layout and I can load an image and this is my image, you know. So what I've essentially done is I've created a page. This page is now getting saved and it is now technically saved. Uh, the other option, what I see over here when I click on this three dots is I can move to other pages. So if I don't want this to be a part of this main navigation, I can move this my phone over here. So the moment I click on here, you see this page gets transferred into other pages. And now this page will not be shown as part of navigation. I'll again move back to main navigation. So if I want to uh, take this page to the main navigation area, uh, let's see what all options I have. I can do a move up. So this will get moved up one place. I can do once again, move up and I can click on move down as well. So if I want to promote or demote that page, I can do that. Uh, or let's see if I can drag and drop. Yes, I can do that. So even I can put it top below. So you can just move those navigational component up and down. Now, let's add a new sub page under my phone. So I'll call it as my mobile. And then again, I'll put some blank page. And this is the page uh, which has say some some content in it okay so so this page is essentially being created as a sub page for my phone okay now let's go into say this one unregistered attendee and i just move one space up just move one space up again one up and i'll try to now do something which is like i want i will just put it under my phone so i just drag and drop and say it has been added under my phone. So essentially I can either promote this as a sub page or I can demote it. Now, if I want this link to be on top of say my phone or at the same level, I click on promote the sub page and the page gets, you know, like promoted to my phone page at the top level. Uh, similarly, uh, I can duplicate the page. So if I like this page, if I know this is my template page, I will click on duplicate and by this, this phone gets a uh, phone page gets duplicated. So you see uh, my phone copy and then I can name it. So if I, how, how do I rename this? Now there's no other options to rename. I can click on page settings and here I can name my page. So me name my page as my cell phone okay and even you can change the partial url so it, it followed some convention with no spaces in it no i'll just save it so you see my cell phone and now i can put and drag and drop under my phone so now what i've done is like i have put this under my phone my mobile and my cell phone so now we have a three level of hierarchy as you see, and I can either promote this sub page so that it is on the level of my mobile. So let me do that. Now it is at the same level. Uh, I can edit the code of this page. So if I click on edit code, what it will do, it will open Visual Studio Code on the web. So you need not have Visual Studio Code installed in your machine. You can uh, use the web version. Now it will start loading this web version in your browser and uh, it will ask it's always the page name dash copy dot HTML uh, with ENUS locale. Now this is that page content. Okay. Now let's assume uh, I want to put something over here. So let me put some paragraph and say hello code. Okay. 
And if I just do a save, control S, then this page technically gets saved and the change will get reflected in your uh, website. So it will take a while, uh, wait till it gets synced up. So once it is synced up, you will see the text over here. So what we have done essentially is opened this page in Visual Studio Code, went into the backend and made some changes. I'll again make some change. The moment you make a change, you will observe a dot over here. So this indicates that the page is, you know, under development. The moment you hit Control S, this dot will disappear. So let me do that. I'll just say Control S to save. It gets saved. Go to your design studio. Now the changes are not reflected. Then just wait for some more time and maybe you can sync it. Let me sync this. The moment you sync this with all your configuration gets synced with the backend application and you will see the change over here. Now, if you go into page settings, I'm cl I've clicked on this three meatball icon uh, and I can, this we have seen, like we can change the name of the page. We can change the partial URL and I can also set some permissions for my page. Now, the two options what you see over here is anyone can see the page and I want to choose who can see the page. The first option, what I call it as like an anonymous access. The second one, I can select the role explicitly, which is available within my Power Platform web roles. So I've created a custom role called a C1 ASP, and these are these two authenticated users and administrators roles are predefined within the system. So that's how I can set permissions for this page. Oh, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll come with some more content. Uh, thanks for watching.